Hello everybody, Andrew Gray here for another Heroes of the Storm. We are on Random Selection Quick Match and we have been put on Brax's Holdout with Murky. Not the best map in the world for Murky, but hey-ho, we will do what we can with it. Uh, Murky is a specialist, very low health pool, but very short respawn timer and he's very melee. We are going to go at level 1 with a fishy deal, so when we kill... Uh, minions with our puff fish which is our w ability again stacks when we have a certain amount of stacks we can then bribe mercenaries with it uh, rather than killing them to select to um, get them we are going to come over here and we're going to use our traits which is d and we are going to put our egg there when murky dies rather than respawning at the center at the nexus there uh, we respawn where we place our egg however if our egg gets killed then we are revealed to the enemy team uh, for a, a duration and uh, we're going to throw down RW there by the way just we get revealed by the, and we uh, then count for one whole death uh, usually we only count as a quarter of a hero death so yeah the best thing is not to have your egg killed so we're going to throw that down there towers can target our Buffer fish, they never used to be able to. Q, by the way, is. Uh, yes. Uh, our Q button is a little slime, it's just a little area of effect. It slows down enemy heroes. Uh, there we go. Uh, we're just going to get our health back up again. We're going to go this way and just clear out all those Abbot of Mines. Uh. Wow, there we go, Genji taking us both down. As you'll see, we've only got a five second ish cooldown on our death, and then we are back in the game. So off we go. We are not good against high enemy heroes. Our W, as you saw, was our puffer fish goes out after a short duration, it explodes. Our E is safety bull, we get becoming vulnerable and uh, go move around. Uh, and there's our Q, which is the slime. So, Brax's Holdout, every so often we will get these two uh, points in the map which become active. We stand on them in order to claim them. Once both are claimed, then uh, these little progress bars start counting up and that determines how many Zerg you, uh, you have. We are going to become invulnerable and just get out of here now because we have no backup from the rest of the team. Uh, we're doing okay up top, which is absolutely fine. We're going to come out down here, uh, and we're just going to continue to harass. Murky is an excellent character for harassing. That's the only thing we do. We harass uh, the enemy and just make their life a bit of a hell, really. Uh, we're going to come up there. Uh, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get us in a safety bubble and move away. You'll notice we have really high health regen as well. We're going to go for living the dream. So uh, our ability power. We can have stronger abilities the longer we live, basically. Uh, we're going to come down here and force them out, hopefully. We're just being a pain to the enemy. We're not really doing anything serious to them. We're just being absolute. Yep, yeah, uh, and we're just getting our bubble and float away. We're going to throw that out there. There goes, uh, and there goes us. Second death, but only worth half. We've only given them half a hero. In we go. We've still got the top, and we've got 78% of the beacon control, while the enemy team has zero, meaning we will have a big wave of Zerg when, or if we finally capture. Uh, we're just going to. I say, we're not. Uh, yep, they're looking to move in and do some more damage. We're not going to let them, and we're just going to slime those and take them down. Abatha is still in this bottom, but thankfully he's not getting very far with it uh, because we're stopping all those, all that pushing. Uh, we are going to get out of there, uh, and we're going to come up here. Kill. 
nicely done by the team. So we've got both of them. The, uh, the little beacon progress goes up. And there we go. It gets to 100%. And we get pushes of Zerg. So the enemy Zerg will come up the top this time. Our Zerg will come down the bottom. We have a full wave. Uh, so it's going to be quite a bit of damage. We are going to throw out our W there as well. Because there should be a wave. And we're going to take out these as well, which will enable us to push. At level 7, we're going to go win Slippery and Wet, which increases our move speed in our safety bubble. Uh, we're going to come here, and we're just going to throw that out, and then we're going to, just going to make ourselves invulnerable. I am going to take down... The reason I'm taking down these is it denies the enemy vision, uh, which is quite important. Uh, we're going to come down here and just... Uh, he's probably going to kill us, quite frankly. But that's fine, you know. We've not even died in total once yet, compared to everybody else, so that is absolutely fine. Not overly bothered about that. As Murky, same with the Lost Vikings, you will die a lot. Um, I do want to take this down, though, so they can't see me pushing. Uh, and we're just going to get out of there. Top's not doing bad. There was no there was no counter attack. So up top because they were busy with us down here. We are going to throw this out and we're just going to walk in here and do a bit of a thing. Thank you to Li Ming for taking that down. So they can't. We know that there is an Abatha somewhere around. Uh, oh, he's further back now. Their Abathas just staying in one lane a lot. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be harassing them here. Uh, and we're just going to get out of there. Okay, while that goes on, we are going to come up to this camp here and we've got three stacks of a fishy deal. What we are going to do is we are going to go one, 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 uh, one, and just take this one out. We're going to go with March of the Murlocs at level 10. Uh, that will send out a large amount of... Uh, it's basically a massive slowing and damaging skill. Uh, I shall show it to you shortly. There we go. We get a camp to push bottom. Uh, which is good because we're bottom as well, obviously. We are going to throw that out. Let's come down the bottom here. Now, the choice here is, do are we going to be really annoying and just continuing to push? Uh, or are we going to help out with the beacons? Okay, we're getting into range of here. We're going to get here, and then we're going to hit our R, which is March of the Murlocs. And there we go. Loads of little Murlocs, which will damage. Uh, we're going to come out here and just do that to the mines. Uh, we're going to get out because we are going to die. There we go. We have died to the... But as you can see, it does a load of damage to structures. It will catch heroes as well, but it will not harm minions. We're going to carry on across here and just continue pushing this bottom, although there is a big counter push top uh, they've almost got that we have forced somebody uh, looks like Zul to come down we're gonna throw that out just to annoy him a little bit and take up his time attacking it uh, so Zul of course being another specialist who's very good at pushing lanes we're gonna come down here uh, and hopefully Oh, he has seen us. Uh, but Leeming, oh, just missed out there. Uh, no worries, we're going to continue pushing bottom, because why not? We've got 6,000 XP. Zul is now really pushing up here. 
Uh, and we're just going to get out of the way of this slowing stuff that he's put down. He's wasted an ult on me, which is quite nice. Uh, it means he won't be able to use it again. We are just going to be as annoying as we possibly can and hopefully distract him from what's going on at over there. Uh, don't quite manage to. Uh, okay, next time we're going to go for is our safety bubble is going to heal us when we get into it, which is good. Uh, we're going to come up here. And we are going to throw out March of the Murlocs, uh, which will slow down enemies and damage them. As you see, they are having a hard time escaping. Uh, that was a pretty nice march, if I do say so myself. There we go. So the enemies, uh, Zerg is going to push down the bottom this time. Or we'll push up top. We're doing a split push, so uh, they're going to have to come one way or the other to um, to deal with us. Please, ex and we're just going to use our E to heal up and get out of there. Uh, we're going to come back in here and just continue pushing this along a bit while that happens, uh, and then we're going to. Which is fine, you know. No, no worries. Push up top is going well. Uh, Probius helping up there. We still got all of the buildings intact, although our top one is looking a little bit worse for wear at the moment. Uh, there, Abathur not really making any progress on the whole pushing himself because of um. Well, because we're counteracting him, basically. Which must be very frustrating for him. Uh, that'll slow him down a little bit, but not a great deal. It won't do... Well, look at that. It does a fair bit of damage. And we'll just come back into the fight again. We have got four, so we are going to come up here uh, and just let them know I've got four of those. Excellent. And then we're going to come down here. I'm never sure what to take, but we're going to go with successive attacks, cast, slide, uh, just to do that a bit more damage. We're going to throw one of those out, uh, and we're just going to come up here uh, Uh, we're going to get in front of him, slime him. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to be an annoyance. Uh, we're going to get out of that ultimate range because that will absolutely destroy us. Uh, but we are going to throw that out there. And hope it... No, it does not explode on time, but that's absolutely fine. We're just going to get out of there. We know that Genji is around here. We are going to... Uh, and just generally be that annoying to him. Uh, we're going to come around here and dodge all these spikes if we can. Uh, we're going to come down here now. Uh, and then we're just going to... There we go. So uh, we've, we managed to distract Genji for a fair while there just by dodging and weaving. Uh, and we're back up again. So, you know, he's... For all that time he spent on us and all that extra that we got, um, we're going to push down a little bit further here. I hope they don't see us. I should have saved March of the Murlocs for pushing this fort, but hey. We're going to throw that out. Just give it a quick slime. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to throw that out there. Uh, they're onto me in so much as they're spending a lot of time trying to hunt me down and trying to stop me rather than these objectives, which is absolutely fine because I've only died the equivalent of twice now. Top is being taken. I think I might reposition top because I've been pushing button for a long time, so we're going to come up here. Uh, and we are going to throw this down here because look at this big wave pushing and just clear that out. The whole of the friendly team just being wiped out there. There we go. Uh, and we'll counter push up here. Uh, that was a badly placed slide. Uh, puff of fish even. But still they're all happy. They're being taken care of down there. Uh, bottom is being pushed, but there's not a lot we can do about that. We are going to take these instead. We're going to come down bottom and help out. Because it's the right thing to do. Uh, we're going to go here, and then we're just going to go like that. Uh, so again, Marshall Murlocs, a lot of... Nicely done there. Um, we're going to come up here. We're going to put one of those down. Uh, and we're going to put one there. going to slime it. We're going to mount up and we're going to go back up top again. We have got three kills, seven assists and only two deaths. We've got a load of XP and a load of uh, damage to structures. Uh, we're going to take care of these so they can't see us pushing in future. I'm just going to get out of here. You know, uh, the friendly team going for boss while I have them. Um, distracted, that's the word. Uh, good. Oh, we're going to take this out so it doesn't push up any further. I get the feeling they're going to be around here. Hello. Absolutely fine. We're going to mount up and go down bottom instead then. Select a talent. We're going to go with never-ending Murloc, so our, our ability will never end. So if we stand here and do this, uh, the only time it will stop is when we die. So we're just going to make ourselves invulnerable. Uh, we're going to go through here. So we could have stood there and channeled uh, as long as we wanted, basically. We didn't because we were going to be killed by... Falstad and we can do without that. So again we're just going to wait for our oh, wave will be taken up by this Zerg. Kenji or Genji even not Kenji. Genji? Genji. Who's Kenji? I don't know. Um, taking down the friendly team. Oh this wave is almost dead so that was a wasted journey but still that's absolutely fine because it means that a wave will be pushing up and we can just uh, make it a little bit we can just clear out this wave for our minion wave coming through as well. Uh, here's the other one, so we'll just throw this here. There we go. Uh, and we'll get out of the way. Um, the whole of the friendly team is dead, so we're going to back off a little bit while they destroy the rest of our Zerg force. And we are going to take this camp here.
And um, we'll take this top one as well, because why not? Uh, I keep on pressing the button, the wrong buttons, which doesn't help. Let's see what's happening over at this camp here. Ah, that's what's happening. We can't take it, unfortunately, because we're not strong enough. But we have made the enemy think twice. We are going to come in here. We're going to put one of those in. We're just going to... Uh, uh, and we're going to get out of the way. I'm going to come around uh, and then just clear it out. <clears throat> There we go. Uh, we are going to come through here, I think. And we are just going to put that there. That's absolutely fine because we're dealing damage to that Falstad there. Quite a lot of it. He's having to retreat um and we're going to come down here power spike from the beacon be active soon clean this out like that it's absolutely fine uh our friendly team is getting wiped out the by the enemy team Uh, we're going to get out of the way here as much as we possibly can. Uh, we're just going to dodge and dive around a bit. Put the slime out. We will die. Uh, I have no doubt we will die. Oh, but look at that. That safety bubble coming through and helping us out there a little bit. So we might have to defend against this Zerg wave now because uh, they will get the highest one. Oh, we could push down the bottom as a counter while they're doing that. Uh, nope, Genji is there. Uh. Wow, they really don't like me. They really, really don't. Although they have to be on top of me now because they know I've got never-ending murlocs. Uh, we're going to go up top and help out up there. We're also going to put our egg up top now as well. Okay, we're going to throw that out like that. Awesome, and we're going to come up here. Uh, no, I'm going to keep my egg down bottom because it is. Okay, what's happening here? Hello. I'll have that, thank you very much. Uh, and we'll go up and continue pushing up top, I think. Nice try by the enemy team there, that's, that's what they should be doing. Um, but you know, just not good enough, is it? Just not good enough. Uh, we've got a whole minute before we can use our ability, so we're not going to be doing that a lot for our never-ending march. It's not going to take us a minute to get there. Uh, if I was the enemy team, I'd probably be here. No. Uh, so we are going to go... and hope that they clear out that wave rather than come in here, which they do. 
nice little push top and bottom they're gonna have to split the forces in order to deal with that we can win this well we might not be able to because of Genji don't want to waste this ability uh, I want them to go here we go let's get them distracted a bit So again, we've distracted pretty much the entirety of the enemy team by getting them over here to deal with my uh, March of the Murlocs. At the same time, we're doing pretty well in getting the Zerg wave done. Although, there goes our Li Ming. Uh, we've got no stacks, so I'm not going to bother with any of those. Excellent. I thought Malfurion was going to manage to take the... Um, To take the whatever it's called fair uh, but did not manage uh, we're just gonna get out of his range there so we're gonna chuck that in there uh, that's fine we're just gonna continue pushing through here There we go. Wow. Um, that was a pretty good match, to be honest. Pretty good team. Uh, was happy with that. Of course we were, because we won. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there we are. A little murky. I think Lucio did a great job at healing people. So we're going to leave. Do, do, do. Um, I really like Murky. There we go, level 14 Murky. How are our stats? We had did four kills, uh, seven assists, only three deaths. When you look at that compared to the rest of the team, that is uh, not a lot. And look what we contributed. 205,000 siege damage, almost 27k XP. What more can you say about that? We also did 30k worth of hero damage, which isn't bad. Let's open this loot crate. Uh, loot crate? Loot chest. It's just a standard one. What do we get in it? All normals. Um, You know what? No. That's a nice little spray. For shame. Yeah, we'll do that. Accept that. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching, uh, and I will see you next time. Thanks very much.